Hello everybody, this is Pam from Tattered Paper and Lace, and guess what? I got my first Timu order. So, we're gonna go with, into this together. I've already opened it, opened up the, the shipping bag, so let's just pour everything out and <clears throat> see what we got. Okay, that's everything. So, let me just start here. We'll start with these things. So, I got some washi tape here, and this is um, washi. This washi was a dollar forty-eight. See if I can get into it here. That stick to my tabletop, it will rip, which it did a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so here is this washi. Let's see if we can get it. The only thing I'll just say right off the bat first off, see, this is you may can't tell, but that's bent a little bit right there. Is uh, their packaging practices are not that good. Um, because everything was, I packed it. I, I had opened it and, and pulled everything out, out just to make sure I had everything. And then I put it all back in and I put it in better than they did because it, some things were bent and this is, this washi is bent, which it, it doesn't matter, but that just is annoying to me. Anyway, so that's one thing I didn't like is they, they shoved everything in and it didn't matter to them whether it. <clears throat> bent it or not but fortunately it didn't bend any bend anything that would hurt but anyway so I got this washi which is a dollar 49 I like that and then I got this washi which was let's see what this washi was I didn't write them down I'm looking at my order <clears throat> this washi was a dollar 88 See if we can get into this. Okay. Yeah, we got into that one. And this is uh, like tickets. So, um, ah, yes, this is tickets. It has a backing on it. The other one didn't. It's just stuck to itself. But this one has a, a peel off backing looks like and it is train tickets so that was a dollar 88 for this I like that and then this I am not sure if this is I wasn't really sure if this was washi or what this is and this one was 98 cents and I'm not I'm not really sure if it, it's supposed to look like, it's supposed to be like a film strip, but I don't know if it's actually like a film strip or if it is, um, if it is, um, washi. Uh, let's see if I can get that open. So I think it's film strip, which is what I, what I thought it was when I purchased it. I'm probably not even in, in frame, y'all. I'm so bad. Okay, so let's look at this. Yes, I think it is film strip. But I think it's sticky film strip. Unlike the... Uh, oh, it is sticky. It's like tape. No, it's not. Just... The, the it's got a piece of tape holding it but look at that it looks it's film strip with pictures in it like I don't know if you can see it like old fashioned pictures I love it I love it I love it okay so this was 98 cents 
I love this. Okay, so I like all of those so far. Then, <clears throat> I got these um, gears. And the gears were, let's see what the gears were. The gears were $1.07 for 30 pieces of aloe metal gears. All different sizes and colors so that's pretty good I think that I think you can get something similar at Hobby Lobby that's like $2.99 or I don't know something like that it seems like I've gotten these before at Hobby Lobby so I like those and there's 30 30 pieces of those great for steampunk then I got this is a um, wax seal that also has gears on it. Can you tell that I might be fixing to do a steampunk journal? <laughs> I've got the stuff laying over here. It's been laying over here for a long time. There we go. So this wax seal was uh, $2.19, which I think is an excellent price. And it looks it looks like it's very detailed and very will be very nice to use. Doesn't come with a handle, but that's okay. I have lots of handles. Or I have, I won't say lots, I have several handles that you just screw in. Uh, so I think that's a great price. I will have to test that out and see how that does. But it looks it looks very detailed, so we'll just have to see that how that comes how that comes across. So there's those, <clears throat> and then I got this. I've been wanting one of these uh, just because I use I have used envelopes and things that were not horribly horribly vintage, but was. Um, I was such that I did not want the, um, the address to show, or I've used some, some envelopes that were just kind of cool envelopes that, that are current envelopes, but I didn't want the address to show. So this is one of those, um, Okay. It's one of those stamps that covers up the address so that you don't see it. It's got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ink on it. But it does pretty good. I have stuff under my my piece of uh, board here that, uh, this is just like poster board, that made it a little bumpy so it skipped. I don't think it normally would skip, but it does pretty good. So that is that. And this was $1.08. Then I got this, and these are called Deco Stickers Collection. There's 20 pieces in here, and this was a dollar ninety eight for <clears throat> 20 pieces, and I have to get, get something so you can see that because I don't think you're going to be able to see that too well. So let's see if I have a little piece of black paper here. So these are stickers. And they are white. And, and empty. So those are the same. I don't know how many designs are in here. And there's another design. Got two of those and two of these. And looks like you get two of each one. And I have two of those. Okay, so there's, yeah, there's two, two of each one, it looks like. And then I have this one. And this one looks like a candy jar. I hope you are seeing these. I did have a bigger piece of black paper handy. <clears throat> that looks like a perfume bottle. Oh, I got it upside down. 
but I, I wanted these because I saw someone using something similar. I don't think it was these, but it was something similar. And they put um, things inside the inside the jars and bottles so that it looked like you know stuff was in it. Now I don't think theirs has a lid. These all have a lid on them, uh, but I don't think theirs did. But it looked really cute. Here's a mason jar. And so I thought, well, let me get those. I'll try that. And here's another perfume bottle here. And another perfume bottle. Nope, that's a jar, not a bottle. So we've got those. All right. And let's see what else. So there's, I don't even know how many designs. I'm not counting. So there's that one. And this may be a repeat. I think it is. I think it's the same as that one I did a while ago. It is. <clears throat> okay, but this was this one's a different one. Nope, that's the same as that one. And then there's this one. And there's this one. Okay, so there's like I said, twenty pieces. And there's two of each one. So what that would be ten. 10 designs, right? I think that's right. Okay. So there are those. Let's get all those put back together and back in, in the package or with it package. Okay, then I bought <clears throat> three dies, three metal dies, and one is a compass. It cost a dollar sixty-eight. Now I this is my first order from Timu, so I, I'm not I don't know what their quality is like, but I did order I have ordered dyes from AliExpress before. And they 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 cut very well, the ones that I have. <clears throat> So this one is a compass, and it was a dollar sixty-eight. This one is leaves, and they're fastened together. Huh? I wonder if you can break them apart if you wanted to do them separate. Um, but anyway, they're fastened together, but they're like a leaf vine and that one is hmm. oh there it is 79 cents this one was 79 cents and then I have the B and the B is <clears throat> 248 so this one was the most expensive one and it's the one I wanted the most. Let's see if I can get into this. Maybe with this. Yeah. yeah maybe. Okay. Maybe I can get into this. So this one is the B, and it's kind of large. So it's larger. Well, it's, it's about the same size, I suppose you could say. It's a it's a, roughly the same size as the um, compass, <clears throat> and it's about. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is uh, three and a half inches across, and. two and three quarters almost uh, from antenna to the bottom of the leg. This one is <clears throat> three, a little more than three and a quarter by probably three and a quarter. Not quite three and a quarter. And then this is each 
leaf viney thingy is three and a half and across each one is about five eighths so those are the dies that I got now I ordered this and the very next day I placed another order so I'll be doing another one of these when it comes so these are the dies <clears throat> I think those will probably do just fine <clears throat> at least my experience with dies from places like that are what well, we're good. <clears throat> this is Retro Men. And they're just little, they're paid. I don't, I don't think there's, well, they could be stickers. They may be stickers. I'm not sure. I don't know, and I, I, it'll take me a while to get that off, so I'm not going to try to do that. But this was a dollar eight for 14 pieces of these retro men, which I like them very much as well. Let me put those back. Let's see if you can see those. Different, different. Uh, looks like they're mostly neutral colors: green, brown. Can you see those? I don't like the white around them, but but just like in the antiquari antiquarian sticker book, I have to cut off that edge because I don't I don't like the edge around them too much. So <clears throat> I will cut that off as I use them. Now, they may be stickers. I can't quite tell, so um, I'm not sure. But I thought they were cool. You don't see. Uh, images of men very often so I kind of like these so let's put these guys to the side and then of course as one must when they're when they're ordering from something like this we must we must get paper right we must have paper so I got this little package here and I let's see how much this one was <clears throat> this one is I don't know how many sheets are in here. So I think this one was 248. I'm not sure because I can't I can't tell by looking at my order, which is what I'm looking at over here to the side. Here's my order. Wow. Oh, well they did that. Okay, nicely packaged here. But see, it's all kind of warped and bent. That's because of how they, that's because of how they put it in the package. Me, being the OCD self that I am, I would not have put them in the package like that. <clears throat> but, you know, time is of the essence. I suppose. Okay, yeah, this is uh, this was two forty eight for thirty pieces, and this is called um, Vintage News. So let's see what kind of it's got that texture, which others have mentioned that it's got that texture. Um, but it looks like letters, and it's like you get three, three of each, and that looks like vintage letters. And I like the feel of the paper, like the weight of the paper is nice. It's not, it's white on the back. Um, so it's nice paper. It's not, it's not terribly, I mean, it's thinnish, but it's not as thin as tissue paper. It might be a little bit thinner than copy paper. Um, but I thought they were cute little, they look like little letters. And it would be good for collage, or you could even make a little envelope and and put a little letter in it. I probably will coffee dye these because I don't like it white on the background, on the backside. So I probably will. Oh, this is a, this is a recipe. Christmas, Christmas plum pudding. Okay, so that will go. I probably will put this in 
Christmas journal that I'm making. A couple of Christmas journals. And you can even read it. So that's pretty cool. I'll lay those over here. Because those are going to get used. <clears throat> so let's see. And then this looks like a receipt maybe. And it's dated 1898. And then this could be a letter. And they're little. These are not big. Where's my ruler? Um, they're three and five eighths by almost five. So they're not huge, but they're a little bit smaller than postcard. But I like them. I like those a lot. So they call them Wanley Scroll. Druggist and Apothecary. Doo, doo, doo. So, oh, and even this is cool. So that's that. I like that, too. And I got these packages. Oh, wait. We'll move on from the paper in a minute. But I also got these stamps, which is... Um, uh, postage like postage. I have other postage, but I did not have. This is the reason I bought this one. Let's see how much this is. Um, <clears throat> the reason I bought this. Hold on, let me find it. Yes, this was $1.98. I did not have other stamped, stamp postage images in in rubber stamps, but I did not have one that was a, a cluster of let's see, a cluster of can you see that? I can't see it on that. Okay, let's move let's zoom in a bit. I didn't have any that was a cluster like this of different postmarks and I wanted that was the main reason I bought this um, is for that because I wanted <clears throat> I wanted one of those. I've seen others use it in it has, it just gives it a different look than others, but it is easy to peel off. And this is printed. This sheet is printed so you can pull it off and you'll know where to put it back. So that, that's nice. So I think that'll, I th they look like they'll work just fine. They feel, they're, they're um, possibly a little thinner than others, but I don't see that if you're using it with a block. I don't see that being a problem. Okay, back to the paper. Then these next three packages, these three, are a dollar seventy-eight. Yep, dollar seventy-eight a piece for these three packages, I believe. It's these. Yes. So these are a dollar seventy-eight each. They're also packaged right nice. See if I can get into this. <clears throat> and they're just they're just called vintage handmade some. Okay, these are classical musical scores. It says it right here. And so they're just and these are bigger than the others. These are like a five by seven, I think. Let me get my bigger ruler. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a frog in my throat. Uh, these are almost seven by four and five eighths. So these are a little bit bigger than these sheets. So these are, it's about half the size. Okay. So these are all music. Music, just music. They do not have the same texture. These are all, all, almost uh, tissue. They're not really see-through. I mean, I suppose if you put you put a light through them, you could. But they're not really, they're not really see-through because you can't see any. You can't see this through it. Um, but they're they're lighter weight than these are. These have a a texture these almost feel like parchment so that's really that's really cool about these these almost feel like parchment 
these are not. These are a very lightweight copy paper type material and <clears throat> they're white on the back side. So we have those. And then these are old yellowed, old yellowed letters. So these are letters too. And the other one, I guess those little ones aren't really letters, but they sort of look like letters or some of them do. <clears throat> so this is, um, I got a lot of these to use for collage. So you've got the twine you can use for things too. Uh, I also like the cover thing they have on these. Okay, so have I got you back out too, back in too far? So these are more like letters. They look like a bigger version of some of these others that I just looked at. Because this one looks familiar right here. And there's 30 pieces in here. Let me see. Could be that. I like the feel of this paper better, but they're both fine. I think that's, is that the same image? No, nope, that's not the same. Okay, so I don't, they do not look the same, I don't think. Nope. Okay, so they are different. <clears throat> Again, these are the same size as the music ones, almost five by seven, not quite. But they're just, again, writing. I love writing. And that is the one thing, I love this vintage writing. That's one thing that I don't have a whole lot of is real vintage writing. So I thought, well, I'll get me some fake vintage writing. Well, I mean, I guess it was real. It is real, but it's, it's copies of. But those are nice. And they're the same kind of paper as the music sheets. But I like those. And there's various different fonts and scripts and all that. So I like those. And this is, says Voyage Diary. So I would think that's travel themed. All of these were $1.78 for 30 pieces. <clears throat> Dollar, yeah, $1.78. And let's see what these look like. Again, I like these, yeah, Voyage Diary. I like the, the card is, it's a card. I like it. And these are maps. Same kind of paper. It's not bad paper. It feels it feels pretty good, but it's thin. It's not quite tissue thin, but it's thin. Um, so these are just some maps. Again, great for collage and backgrounds on tags and journaling cards and that sort of thing. So that is that. And then the next thing. See, here's another one that's that's curved, bent. It is more bent than it looks like it is. <clears throat> and that is annoying to me. But anyway, uh, this was $3.98. This was the most expensive thing I bought. And this is um, a 6x6 six six scrapbook paper called Mechanical World. Again, I'm doing steampunk, so... I can't seem to get enough steampunk stuff, even though I have plenty of steampunk stuff. Okay, it is one-sided. See, that is just bent. It's annoying. Um, this is the cover piece and could be used. And these are all um, mechanical gears and things. Two sheets of each one, it looks like. I liked the the blue and sort of the, it's kind of a blue and sort of a pinkish color. So I, that's one of the reasons I got it, because I liked it. And this one I love. This one I love. And that's just a background. Most of these would just be used for background. This one is kind of nice too. Looks like um, bills and letterheads and things <clears throat> all collaged together gears i think there's 24 hold on i think there's 20 24 designs is that what they said 
24 pieces, 12 designs, two of each. I like that one. That one's another collage of receipts and things. I love this. That's suitcases. Yep, yeah, I like it. And that was the last design. And then, oh no, this is a design. It's turned around. Um, so that is the scrap, six by six scrapbooking paper, which I like to use for tags and journaling cards and that sort of thing. And then this is 248, 20 sheets. And it says Time Box Series Vintage Material Paper. I don't know exactly what that means. But we're gonna find out. Here's a thumbnail of what's in there. Love this little thing. I can see, oh, I, I, my, my brain is already working on how a person might use this in a journal, this, this little thing. I like it. I like it. See the sky shows through here. Okay, that's gonna get used for something. I don't know why yet. So these are these are papers also also bent, um, and they are a little bit bigger. They're seven and seven and an eighth by five. So they're basically a seven by five. Uh, the others that were that close to that were some, a little bit smaller than that. So this is called Time Box Series Vintage Material Paper. Looks like you get <clears throat> two of each one. It's white on the back again. Well, it's kind of a, it's not white, white. It's kind of an off-white. Okay, I like that. And this was what was on the cardboard thing. Oh, one, only one sheet of that. Huh. Okay, so we've got two sheets of that. We got one of them. We'll put it over here and see if that's the only one. Or maybe I got an extra sheet and I wasn't supposed to. Um, so yeah, these are these are all just one sheet. But they're collaged pieces. I like that. So you can cut, you can fussy cut out different things that you might want to use, or you can. There's Audrey Hepburn. Or you can use um, the whole sheet, and if you just wanted to put that on a, a page in your journal, um, just to have you know something quick and easy to do, you could do that. It looks like I've just got one piece of each thing, but I had two of that first sheet. That's interesting. I like these little boys. Okay, this is a repeat. Okay, now we're repeating, I think. Yes. Because this and this is the same. So now we're repeating. And this and this is the same. Okay, so it's two of each sheet. Yep. And this. And this. Yep. So now we're repeating. There you go. Yep. And this and this is the same. Okay, so these repeat. These are two of each one, and there's, uh, what did I say, 30, 24 pieces? Let me see what's in here. Um, 20 sheets. 10 designs. I should get over here where you can see, right? Yep, because there's Audrey again. So they just had the first sheet with them together, and the rest of them were all separate, so we're just going to put them all together again. Uh, and see a second one of that one. It's probably mixed in with another one. Okay, so that is, I like these two. These are a little bit heavier paper than these. Than the music, the map, and the letters that are this size. This is a thinner weight paper than this is. This has a little bit of, of a texture to it, but not as much texture as these little ones do. It has a little bit of texture, but not as much as this. This feels like parchment paper. I'm not sure that it is, but it definitely is a weight and feel like 
parchment paper, so I like those very much. <clears throat> this is a little bit heavier than these. Um, I like them all. I think everything is certainly something I will use. And what I like also about all of this is that there is also uh, the possibility of using packaging. I love to use packaging when I can. The Tim Holtz packaging, as you know, is great. Let's see, you can put this in here. Oh, it doesn't quite fit. I wanted the flower to fit through. It doesn't quite. But anyway, so um, you, can, you can use the packaging. I will definitely be using this in something. I don't know yet what that might be. But I will use it for something. As I do most packaging, I have used most of Tim Holtz packaging that I've had on hand. I've used them up. So um, here is everything that I bought. I believe there are 17 items, eight, 16, 17 items, something like that. I, everything looks great. I have no complaints uh, as long as the dies work and the stamps work that's going to be the things that matter because everything else is going to work it's paper and tape and you know these are i think these are stickers these bottles are stickers as well i think nope they may not be and that's okay, though, because our glitter glue will put them right down and also dries clear. So, that is my haul from Timu, my first haul from Timu. And I will have another haul when my other order gets here. The other order is not quite as much as this one, although it could have been more. I had to restrain myself. Great prices. So far, I am very pleased with what I see here as far as their quality goes. So, they will be a place I will take a look at. Um, and it's funny because I just placed my order and I was having dinner with my nephew. And he said, have you heard of Timu? And I'm going, yes, I just placed an order. And he goes, well, I placed an order. It's dangerous. <laughs> and he was, he was looking for some motorcycle parts, of which he found at a very, very better price. Then, so my husband was at this dinner as well. And so he was hearing this conversation. So we needed some more um, water filters for our refrigerator. And so he looked on Timu instead of good, because they're like expensive. They're like $60 for two. And he found them on Timu for $10 for two. I just don't know if they will be the same on something that's a brand like that. And so that is that will be the next thing to see how they are in comparison to what might be the brand uh, of something that you would get. But anyway, of these things, I think I'm, I'm very happy with everything. Totally, totally fine. Um, good prices. Um, they just know if you haven't ordered yet that when you do, you will get three or four or five or however many emails a day. Don't leave this behind. It's now this, you know. If you had, if you left something in your cart that you decided to just leave there and not buy yet, they'll send you an email and say, it's almost gone. You better buy it now. So they're always giving you what they say is another discount. If you go ahead and buy, blah, blah, blah. So just be wary that they will inundate you with emails. But I just delete them because I don't need to, I don't need to look. Because if I look, I might buy. So I just don't look because I'm not ready to buy more stuff yet. But anyway, this is what I have. I will be back the next time with another Timu haul. Thanks for watching. Bye.